Hi everyone, let's have a look at my low time frame and micro bullish and bearish elite wave scenarios on Bitcoin. Starting with this micro scenario over here because 50 minutes after the previous update everything changed. Yes, I was looking for some upside till the moment that I noticed this over here. So what I wrote in Discord is that we have a 1212 as can be seen then over here. However, usually it takes the shape of a converging diagonal and in this scenario it is not the case it is expanding which is actually rare and i didn't realize this i didn't notice it at first and then eventually what this means is now that the one two one two is a much lower probability and the probabilities of this structure to the upside being a three-way structure has increased so the bearish scenario immediately increased in probability the moment i noticed that this one two one two is very very rare you want to see a converging diagonal and not an expanding diagonal one two one two so because of this the group was prepared for potentially more downside to come which is eventually what happened also by the way another hint for more downside was the fact that we closed candles below the 0 0.5 and also hit the invalidation of this bullish scenario to the upside at 27.1k for then a potential short scenario for eventually more downside which also as you can see increased quite nicely in volume during this move now to the downside so the bearish scenario became a lot more likely in this than being a three-way structure to the upside because of this one two one two being expanding and then also we saw bearish divergences building while price was moving to the downside which i'll get to in a second now if we then look and what I've been talking about for a while, which is the triangle, I kind of promised to not show it, but hey, I was talking about a fake out all the time, either a fake out to the downside or a fake out to the upside of this triangle. And in this scenario, we moved up first, created that fake out for eventually now a move to the downside. So the triangle long people, basically, what do they do? They long over here, they long the breakout of the triangle, stop loss somewhere in the triangle very often. It is the previous low, so somewhere over here, which we actually just took. And then they are looking for more upside to come, right? But in this scenario, what does price do? Moves to the upside, creates a fake out structure for then more downside. And over here, we had that target box for resistance, which acted as nice resistance indeed between 27.3K and 27.4K for then eventually that move to the downside as it stands now so what are now the scenarios that we have to look for well the bullish scenario is the following and the bullish scenario is where we are currently still working on the wave x so we have this as a three wave structure in a w followed by a big w x y to the downside in this wave x before then another three wave move to the upside in a wave y has to be said that if this is a wave y you want to see a three wave structure and currently this looks like a single structure so you want to see a three wave structure if price is dropping to the downside like this of course over here there's not really any trading setup you want to see proof of support and pre pre uh, preferably a three wave structure now proof of support can be anything it can be a market structure change in your strategy it can be uh, a move like this with some bullish divergences for example whatever it is that supports your reason for entering a potential long but as it stands now price is moving to the downside volume is increasing which is not too bullish what is not too nice about this scenario is that this wave x is very very long in time compared to this wave w now it is not impossible it can happen that wave x takes a lot more time to form than the wave w but it is something to keep in mind if you then go to the bearish scenario this is already a finished structure and then a three wave in w three waves in x and then three waves in y and in one of the more previous videos we were talking about this being a potential double zigzag to end the wave y which is not possible so i said well this being the high of a wave y with a double zigzag in wave y is not possible also following the official uh, elliott wave book which i actually double checked however in this structure over here you can also count either a zigzag in a 535 or this being a wxy for a more simple structure than in this wave y so therefore this then becomes the high of the corrective structure in a wxy where you can see wave w x and y are quite similar in length 
and also wave y reach the 0 0.608 trend based sub extension from the low of w to the high of w to then the low of wave x very very nicely respected indeed and the target area over here in white between the 1 and the 1.236 is taken from the low of x to then the high over here to the low that price has created over here and as you can see price also very nicely respected this target area where the 1.236 is the maximum target and on the one hour time frame you can see no candles closed above the 1.236 so this being a three wave structure and this being the first second and third is very much a possibility which then would end this potential wave Y and I also already spoke about the potential short setup because the moment I realized this was a potential one two expanding diagonal which is very very rare increasing the probability for downside plus the fact we saw bearish divergences over here and we broke that 0.5 Fibonacci in the micro bullish scenario over here that is the moment where the hint was well we are going to very likely find more downside if we then at least look at the news today then we have news coming today at 8 p.m central east european time make sure to check your own time zone because this might be a very volatile move at 8 p.m later today and if we then go to the bearish divergences because i want to show you these local bearish divergences we had bigger bearish divergences between the high over here and the lower high created it isn't invalidated didn't reach 27.516 However, more locally, we started to create bearish divergences as well. And if I go to the 15 minute, you will actually see it. So we did see yesterday the bearish divergences over here, lower high created on price, higher high on the CVD, bearish divergences that I mentioned yesterday. However, these bearish divergences continued over here in this range as well. You can see this high had the CVD, the yellow CVD line over here. And we never actually really got below. So once price started ranging over here, we still had higher CVD compared to this high. So lower highs in price, higher high in the CVD. There's absorption going on for then a push to the downside. That is what happened on the very low time frame. And we still have the bigger bearish divergences with the target being 26.3K. Of course, we also still have the bullish CVD divergences made between this low and the higher low created, target being 27.7K. However, in a scenario with bearish divergences, the lower time frame bearish divergences always have priority. So between this bullish CVD and this bearish CVD, the priority is the bullish CVD because the first one that exists is the one that has the highest probability of playing out. But when you have this bearish CVD divergences and then you get low time frame bearish CVD divergences, these ones always have priority above the higher time frames divergences. The lower time frames are more important than the higher time frames and the lower time frame divergences already played out with this move now to the downside. So I hope this video was helpful or valuable to you. Please check out the macro and the high time frame video if you're interested. And for now, thanks for watching and subscribing and I will see you at the next one. Bye bye.